The protector is a gateway to the DMZ for traffic coming from the local area network and from the internet. For this kind of traffic, it can use its main network card or a dedicated virtual network card which has a different IP address. This card uses the same physical plug and cable as the protector's main port, which is port A. In this picture, we can see one only line connecting the protector to the internet. And this is true because the protector is connected through a single network cable plugged into its main port. But it can virtually split this connection in two and use another IP address over the same physical connection. But to manage traffic from the internet to DMZ and vice versa, it can virtually split this connection in two and use another IP address over the same physical network cable. To use the virtual card, you should configure your routers to route this kind of traffic to the new IP. The protector allows to choose which card to dedicate to the traffic that must be forwarded to the DMZ and assign it an IP address. This function is available through the menu Network Setup, DMZ Forwarding. In this page, you can select the network card that should be forwarded to DMZ by choosing one of the available options. The option to forward a dedicated virtual card is to be preferred. In this case, it's necessary to give this virtual card an IP address in the same subnet as the protector. All traffic that reaches this IP will be then automatically forwarded to DMZ. If the protector is configured to forward its own network card, not all traffic is allowed to be routed to the DMZ, therefore this option is recommended not to be your first choice and should be used only in the case it's not possible to assign more than one IP address to the protector. When this option is selected, the list of ports that should be forwarded to DMZ can be added in this list.